Hello everyone, welcome to small model car. We have got another American made sedan and this one is a Cadillac CTS-V. This particular model is a 2009 Cadillac CTS-V and the casting is by Hot Wheels. So I did a review of a newer Cadillac sedan by Matchbox and I will try to put up a link for it in this video. Uh, talking about this one, this is a 2009 sedan finished in black and uh, obviously these were front engine rear wheel drive had V8 engine were more performance oriented the V model compared to their regular model so let's see how does the casting look and before that if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe hit like leave a comment and if you like the video share with your friends so, starting from the front, uh, the very first thing you will notice that it has got detailed headlamps, grill is finishing kind of grey, I don't know if it came with a chrome grill or it was grey with no this, but so you have got detailed headlamp, you have got the detailed grill, uh, no badges up front, not a kind like badge up here, but you can see the bulge in the hood. So. Again, big engine, bigger bulge. Another thing you will notice from the front that it doesn't have any mirrors. So yeah, I think Hot Wheels messed a trick there. Well, that's what we expect from Hot Wheels. Sometimes it gives us mirrors, sometimes it doesn't. Now, moving on to the driver's side. We have seen these wheels on so many different Hot Wheels. So, nothing special here. Uh, four doors, obviously you can see both the door handles. You've got the V-badge here, a body side molding. And there's no glass in the front, so that you can peek into the interior, which we will come to later. Now, moving on to the back. Again, a uh, nice thing about this is it has got detailed tail lamps, uh, chrome bar uh, running over the number plate. Uh, you also got the Cadillac badge here and you've also got the V and CTS patch also if I move it a little bit you can see we have got twin exhaust uh, but none of them are painted if you like you can give it a touch other thing from the rear you can notice the big antenna I don't know why I said big but it looks a bit bigger compared to the actual car I don't know why now let's move to the passenger side so it's almost identical the only difference being the fuel filler cap here. Uh, I did forget to mention the small grill here, the chrome grill, if you can see. So we have got that, and I think that's for the body. Let's look at the roof. So a big sunroof. I don't think it was that common at like the early or late 2000s to have this big of a sunroof. So I. It was a luxury car, a car car like so, American luxury brand. Now one thing I do like to like explain or like to show you, the interior, I will give a point to Hot Wheels here because they have finished it in two-tone. So the center console is in grey, the top of the dashboard and the seats are in black. So well, a good job there. So overall, well. Uh, decent casting definitely could have used more details definitely mirrors for sure apart from that uh, decent paint job and good details on it and I think uh, if you like luxury stands American luxury stands especially you will love it that's what I think let me know what do you think thank you for watching have a good day